Yep, have a good day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm hungry. Hey, Joe, is the lunch scooter available? Yeah, I parked it with the uh, refurb scooters. Great, thanks. Look at all these refurbished scooters. With deals of up to $500 off, $500 in savings. I'm never gonna find the lunch scooter. Can't find your electric scooter? Well, we have the solution for you. Welcome to Volro Motors. Today, we will be showing you how to use air tags on your new electric scooter. Let's get started. When you take the air tag out of the box, it will come in this plastic cover that you would just remove. Before you place the air tag anywhere in your scooter, make sure it's already paired with your phone. To do this, you will take your iPhone out and bring it close to the air tag. After a few moments, a new screen will pop up. Tap the connect button, and after that, you will name the device and give it an emoji as its profile photo. Then press continue. The next screen will ask you to confirm the Apple ID on your connected device. If it looks good, click continue, and then on the next screen, click done. Now that you have activated and paired your AirTag, you're ready to place it inside your scooter. We recommend using a light adhesive to attach to your scooter because every year you have to replace the battery inside your AirTag. The AirTag is IP67 water rated, but if you're worried about water damage, you can always wrap it in plastic. For the eMove Cruiser and Touring, the best place to put the AirTag is inside of the scooter body. The AirTag can be placed inside of the front cover, like so, right here or it can be placed in the back cover with the lights. Or you can place the air tag in the scooter's body alongside the battery and the controller. In addition to the spots we have on the cruiser, we also have the side piece on the touring in which you can place the air tag. So for the Roadrunner, there aren't many options to place the air tag, but we have found that inside the battery compartment is the best place to place it. You will use a 10 millimeter wrench to unscrew the four bolts under the cushion. Once you have the cushion open, you can adhere the air tag to any surface you want to put it on. For example, right here or inside of the case. For the Cabo Mantis, you can place the air tag inside the front cover or the back cover, or inside of the body cavity itself. For the Wolf Warrior, for the Wolf X Pro, and for the Wolf King, the air tag can be stored underneath the front wire cover right here or you can place the air tag inside the scooter's main body. One more additional place the Wolf King GT has for storing the air tag is inside the metal case on the controller. Using your included hex tool, unscrew the four bolts on your controller, and then you're able to pop this off and place your air tag inside of this compartment. Moving on to Dualtrons, the best place to put the air tag is inside the side cover, right along here, and on the inside, right around here. Or you can place it inside the deck. You can also place the air tag inside this piece of the Dualtrons, but you have to remove the deck. Unlike most Dualtron scooters, the Mini doesn't have many places to put the air tag. We start by removing this front cover and placing the air tag inside the actual body. To remove the front cover, you would have to remove all of these screws on either side and slide this off. After opening up the Mini, you can place the air tag anywhere inside. Now that we've discussed where and how to use Apple's air tag, let's discuss why. Well, obviously it helps if your scooter is lost, but what about if it's stolen? You can enable lost mode on your air tag, and then anyone who comes in contact with your scooter will be notified that it is lost. Then they can reach out to you via email or phone to get the scooter back to you. When your scooter is in lost mode, if anyone with an iPhone comes nearby it, it will automatically update its location in your phone. We hope you guys found this video very useful and we hope you feel better about knowing there's always a way back to your two-wheeled friend. We recommend you check out the video above. Video above. The video linked above shows just how useful air tags are, whether your scooter has been lost or stolen. Thanks so much for watching today's video, guys. Hope you guys check out our Facebook groups for this week's giveaway. And if you missed this week's giveaway, we have giveaways every month. So it's always a good time to join. Any mods or tutorial requests, leave them down below. Please make sure to subscribe and we'll see you again next time.